Andres here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the latest album from Anubis Gate called Interference. This opens up with Emergence. This is loaded with striking powerful riffage with Henrik the vocalist filling up the high ground and working some great melodies along with the guitar work. I really found some really nice fine nuances within this song. I like the swaggering tempo too. This feels like a different type of tempo, a different type of energy from Anubis Gate. Well, not, maybe not entirely different. It's just something that's maybe a little more rare from them. So I really think this is like a, a different type of energy you know to sort of differentiate them, this song from uh, a lot of their other tracks as well as it's a really good opener grip the listener in with something you know a little shorter from anubis gate you know because their songs can be uh, you know a bit longer but this one has a bit of that energy a bit of that swagger to lure the people in and i fairly felt like the drum work was extremely dynamic and uh, important to this emergence as well so right off the bat you got a solid track then you go into i think one of my favorites off this album is uh, ignorance is bliss just because the the dynamics behind this this is has a quite a large amount of depth going on i really feel like the atmosphere and the bass pieces are like this comic effect of a delusional person living in ignorance and this is the blissful harmony they sort of float around in and that's sort of the atmosphere and emotion that is captured within this track and i really felt like uh this this is uh, extremely thought-provoking concept i really think it kind of applies to what's going on in the world today and i really think like i said is the thought-provoking track with the music to oblige that uh that concept as well and it's such a creative uh, dimension shifts uh in within this track that sort of move around several times as well so there's just so much depth to really soak up and i really like everything that's behind it the, the song can be quite gripping i felt the more i listened to it the more i got to hear more and the more i actually got drawn into thinking is like yeah this is easily probably you know uh top two tracks on the album for me at least then we move on to Number Stations. This is another song that's quite creative. This one reminds me a bit of like some older Anubis Gate, you know, uh, experimenting a little bit, doing something that's quite a little different. And you really get to hear that in, in this first couple of minutes from Number Stations. It pulls you into this, uh, like this sphere of airwaves, slowly growing higher in, atmosp in, uh, in atmospheric octaves. It's just sort of growing. And it, like I listened to it also on my headphones and it just, you could really hear all these dynamics like almost like uh, I want to say like uh, space signals you know just the, the from space it was really unique and then it sort of like breaks away completely with this abrupt profound uh, riff drums and vocals creating this sort of different disorientation that builds into this this sort of spirit traversing the the starways just has this vibrant aura that sort of glows within this track so you got these two you know really different dimensions that really open or really are within this track and the first couple of minutes it really sets you off as like you're not quite sure what to expect but then it really changes in a completely uh, another direction for the good in my opinion then we got uh, another awesome track in my opinion that really grows differently and expands as the, as the song goes on it's called the phoenix this evolves into uh, different layers adding to each other and it starts off almost like i want to say like 80s pop 80s rock pop it just has this different type of energy and it's really reminds me of something from the 80s uh with you know but with each uh, addition the phoenix becomes more powerful which i kind of think kind of applies to the theme of the phoenix how it rises and i really feel like every instrument sort of is like the rebirth of the phoenix so that kind of maybe applies to the song title here uh you got more emotions that sort of arise and come within this track uh, the music and lyrics come alive giving such inspiration i really like the highs of this track uh, you uh, you got these high octaves and melodies that really illuminate this song and uh the album as well it's a really standout point or part not only of the phoenix but this entire album i felt like it was just this you know you're just so if you're just gradually listening to the songs this is something that really leapt out at me because of just the the high uh, vibrancy of it the the high emotions the octaves the melodies just everything that was captured in the phoenix is really cool then we move on to equations this one is cool i i think for its direct force direct riffs and drum work just a solid heavy prog metal song or prog metal track uh the, i like the direction that it's it's you know moved away from the complexity a little bit like anubis gate had all these experimental complex you know prog 
progressive elements and depth that they wanted to do and then equations is just like uh, let's just go and throw something straight at you something direct nothing you know to overthink too much about but it has its nuances still and that's what i like it has its uh, atmosphere and emotions as well like it has this sort of attitude and uh anger uh, uh, upon this in in this track that's a little different a little more direct a little more forceful and that's something that you, i i don't know if you necessarily hear that too much from Anubis Gate, but you definitely felt, I definitely felt it in Equations. Then just as I'm saying, like Anubis Gate has this direct song, you know, not overly dynamic and stuff like that. Uh, then you get a pair of these psychedelic 70s style prog tracks with a modern touch and dissonance, consonance, and the intergalactic dream of stardom. Yeah, so you know you're going to get something quite wild and deep and experimental in both of these songs. Both of them are uh, a bit longer. Uh, both send you on a a wild journey with crafty nuances and ores through it but that, that's sort of what you get from Anubis Gate you get this unique flow maybe it's not even a flow it's like you know like a hurricane it's all kind of over the place you know but it, it does seem to work for them and it's if you get used to Anubis Gate uh, it's kind of expected so it's not really out there but the, the songs and the, like a lot of the melodies a lot of the energy the drum work the vocals a lot of the stuff really applies itself together and you can find things you know depth and similarities in the songs that sort of match so it doesn't really stray away from one another too much it's not that drastic because there's still a lot of these elements that apply to one another and you really get that in these two songs as well now I'm going to jump down to uh, the last track I'm going to talk about on this album just because I'm not going to spoil the whole thing. I've been talking about this album quite a bit. But this is one I highly recommend. World of Clay. This is a great energetic pace. I love how the rhythm and drums rumble uh, during the chorus. And how Henrik's vocals play right into the tempo. Uh, the lyrics are so rhythmic and well written here. And I really like the, the lyrics and the power behind this song as well. Another thought provoking track. I'm really impressed uh, with the, the drum intricacies throughout uh, not only this track of World of Clay from Morton Gade Sorensen but the entire album his work was fantastic it really applied and did so much for this album in so many different ways you know his creative drumming his ability is really impressive uh, and not only here but on Pyramids he's uh, also you know in that band as well you can just hear the amount of ability that he has and what he can bring to a band especially one like Anubis Gate that is experimental and dynamic and changing you know tempos and uh, time signatures and he really applies to that so well so I hope you guys check out Anubis Gate's Interference this one the more I got to listen to the more I got to hear uh, more melodies and intricacies and nuances and stuff like that and the more it really started to, to hit home with me and I really got to enjoy it can't wait to get this album and i hope you guys check it out all the links of course will be in the description below for you guys to check out the songs and and uh my other channels and stuff like that so until next time folks how about some heavy listening